Step in the box, baseball fans. Welcome back to another episode. We are doing a recap of our 64 box hanger case of 2024 Tops Series 2. We got this case for $730. That's about $11.40 per box, 20 cents per card. But here we go. Let's see what we pulled. Lots of nickel and dime stuff. I've, any Otani is a good Otani. Put those to the side. Let's see how many base. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven base. And any trout's a good trout. So I was kind of putting those there. Some of the rookies. We'll get to the hits in a minute. Some of the rookies. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight Yamano, uh, Yamamoto's. Shota, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight on the uh, PCA, Pete Crow Armstrong. Junior Caminero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can complete six sets, it looks like. Tons of Kerstead. So if we want to do sets, which I did look up sets today, um, they were selling for between 30 and 40 bucks on eBay. So if you want to put together sets, that's how you nickel and dime some of your money back. Home run challenge cards, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, we'll get to the good stuff in a minute, but kind of getting an idea of how many inserts. I mean, the number of inserts is pretty amazing for the hangers this year. It's actually pretty awesome. Um, complete sets. I just looked at the, uh, the, Stats card that will be coming in a minute. Those complete sets were like 30 bucks. The, the complete set of this was uh 35-ish. Again, they're kind of up and down, but we can't complete the sets, but just getting an idea of what these cards sell for. If you're gonna move these, you gotta put in the work. I love this set right here. Sleeve the rookies. Got the Ellie on top. Lots of rookies in that, and then some of the non-rookies. Those are pretty cool. Ellie, again, good Ellie. Sleeve all the rookies. I'm not going to go through all these, but big stacks of those. The all-stars. Kind of see. Let's look at some of this other stuff. Put the Ellies on top of every one. Around the horn. Again, I like these. This set sound pretty strong. These are nice. Ellie on top. Like those. How many stars of the MLB Chrome do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven in 64 boxes. These uh these yellow foils are one, two, three, four, five, six, so about one every ten or eleven boxes. Those are pretty cool. I love this pile like of the rookie stuff, the rainbow foils. Not gonna go through all those. Tons of rainbow foils. I didn't count them up, but you figure about half the boxes get those. Not as many blues as you would think, but still a decent amount. One, two, three, four. We have a couple good ones that I put to the side. Retail blue action, it is no longer Target exclusive it's all retail and then of course the big stack of yellows not going to go through those if you want a nickel and dime you can get a good chunk for the yellows and then all the rookie yellows and the future stars i lot i just put those up well i don't know how the pete crew armstrong got in there poor job and i put the cups and the future stars in here Pretty cool. Now we can't, what you came for is the hits. We had 47 what I would consider hits. Gonna get started with this one because it was just harder. I didn't have a top loader, so I didn't want to put it on the bottom. This is these are cool. Brandon Nemo, the rounding the bases relic, game used relic. It was on 8-27-2022. Mets beat the Rockies. It's a cool card. I put these inserts to the side. The women in baseball, we got a couple of them in the case. Top loaded them. 
I top loaded these first pitches. Don't under underestimate these in the long term. You never know what's going to happen. Somebody could get relevant, popular. Good old first pitches. So we got three of those. One for my Cubbies. Pretty cool. Another uh, Stars MLB Chrome, the Yamamoto. Here's some of the blues and yellows that I top loaded. Didn't hit some of the better names, but we did Pete Crow Armstrong for my Cubbies. Oh, Tani, nice little color match blue. Junior Caminero on the yellow. Mason Wynn on the yellow and Kirsted on the yellow. Didn't consider these hits, but here's some more blue parallels in the inserts. The great Bambino, Babe Ruth. And around the horn, Eddie Murray on the blue parallels. Now we get to our numbered cards. We had seven of these blues. These are out of $9.99. Again, you had lots of chances to hit guys. We just didn't really hit overall. Duran, Marquez, Cabrera, Rendon, Machado, Peraza, and Travis D here. So no rookies in that one, which is a bummer. Purples. Out of seven ninety nine, here is a we had uh, one rookie, two rookies. Wicks for my Cubbies. Which ones do you like better, the purples or the blues? I kind of like these purples. Cool looking Dodgers card with Mookie and Freddie on it. But again, another Cubs PC card. A couple rookies. Got some green foils or what are they calling them? Crackles now. Getting your crack on. We got three of the greens. Austin Wells. Gavin took a sheets. And Garcia for the fish. We had two of these teal foils. My boy Garrett Stubbs and Christian Vasquez for the twins. Those are the $3.99. We had one orange crackle. Manny Machado. $2.99. We had one red color match for the Boston Red Sox. The red, Trevor Story, $1.99. We had a few black numbered cards in this on the inserts. One for my PC, it is PCA out of $2.99. We had a Mike Towers first pitch out of $2.99. We wish that was C.J. Stroud or Wemby. And then Matt Olson, that's a nice, sharp-looking card. Those are beauties. $2.99. Getting to the golds, we had 13 golds. Pretty good. Pretty good right there. Marte being one of the better ones of the rookies, I guess. Just, again, we hit a lot of the numbered stuff, just didn't hit the... The names we needed, the hot rookies or the big guys like Otani. Again, wasn't the biggest case, but man, the number of hits is awesome. I should have another case coming. And I got those for 10 bucks a piece. We had a vintage stock, Pavin Smith, out of 99. I like these vintage stocks this year. Numbers on the back, bottom corner. They got the gray back. You got the tops. U logo. And then it just looks different on the front, too. They did a nice job of kind of changing up the, the look of the card. Those are nice. And then this is what I like about this product, too. Three of these gold crackles out of 50. We've got Trevor Story, Waldachuk, and Gomez. Again, one rookie. Trevor Story again. Hit him a few times. Sorry, I got distracted. Had a phone call. Uh, a couple relics. Dansby Swanson for my Cubbies. Game use bat relic. Have the Ronald Acuna Jr. Out of 199 black. Again, all game used, which is sweet. 
Our only auto out of the case. I mean, we had, again, we had an auto. Blake Rutherford. It's all uh, striker pulled the same card from his hangers. A team color match. The logo. Garcia for the fish. It's a really cool looking card. Be good. It, if you like your team, putting the team set together would be nice. A true photo variation of Joey Wendell for the Mets. Again, we had some nice cards, just not the right names. A Golden Mirror SSP. Trey Turner. It's not bad right there. And then the biggest hit of all of them, Jackson Holiday, the short print. Forgot to even look at the code. Tw ends in 28, so you know what they are. There you have it. Jackson Holiday. I think for update, they should get him and his dad on the same card for the Golden Mirror. I think that'd be pretty sick. Or something else. But again, hope you guys enjoyed that hanger case. We're going to do this again. We're going to run it back. I don't know when. It hasn't come in yet. But we will run it back. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. Please like, subscribe, share, comment below. Until next time. Peace.